So I'm on the road going to pick up uh, stuff at the uh, auction house in Boise Bain, Manitoba and just uh, doing some thrifts before that. Uh, we're at Value Village now so we'll see what we can find. Um, the last time I was here uh, in Brandon I got skunked at all four thrift shops so yeah let's hope we can find something this time. So this time we didn't get skunked, we got one item, a Art Nouveau cast iron mirror for a whole seven dollars. So yeah, did all right. Good piece, probably $65, something like that. But a uh, nice cast iron piece, all intact. Early mirror in it still, nice original back. So yeah, so that was good. And on to the next, uh, MCC. So done at MCC and came out with a fork. Um, a friend of mine collects this pattern. Uh, they were actually given away in uh, dish detergent or laundry detergent. I'm not sure which, but anyway, he collects them. So I picked them up for him when I see them. And also got a charm bracelet. I just sold one of these for 250 US, uh, although it had more charms than this on it. Uh, this one I think probably is going to be around uh, 100 and a quarter, 150, something like that. Uh, they're popular at the moment and uh, they're sterling silver. So yeah, and that was all of grand total of 10 bucks so that was a good deal happy with that and now we're off to super thrift so i didn't get anything at super thrift so i just ended up going for lunch and now i'm at the nearly new right there so yeah see what uh, they've got and uh, then we'll head off and pick up the auction buys so Super Thrift wasn't quite a bust. Uh, did get this set of cutlery, this children's cutlery. Uh, three little pigs had a box for these, original box somewhere. Um, not sure if I still got it or not, but I hmm, wonder if I do. Anyway, so yeah, didn't get skunked at least. And now we're off to pick up auction buys. So picked up my stuff at auction, also stopped at a a local uh, little thrift shop but uh, didn't buy anything there and we're at another secondhand shop here in the countryside so a little town so we're gonna check it out and we'll see what we get so I see my hair is yeah windblown and such um, anyway I picked up uh, this little Moorcroft vase at uh, this place a nice little guy um, paper label on the bottom it was all of five dollars so uh, something that's worth 45 65 thereabouts I'll have to do some checking to make sure but uh, I think that's probably about what it's worth so yeah anyway stay tuned and uh, we'll be going through all the auction stuff shortly well I'm back home and we'll go through some of the auction buys um, there was a Coke lot. Well, there was a couple Coca-Cola lots, but I was after the bottle caps actually in most of them. Uh, I was curious as to what brands and stuff were there. Uh, looks a lot like a lot of Six Brewery out of Alberta and Calgary Brewery out of Alberta. Um, some Swept ginger ale, some Coke. Uh, Jamaica Dry and a few other things, Black Label, Bowl, Labatt's, some Pepsi. So yeah, we got three big jars of those. I think pretty much the same in, in each lot. Um, you know, it looks to be the same kind of caps in each lot. We'll bag them up and put... Uh, Prices on them eventually. 
Maybe I'll do another video where I'm just going through them, seeing what there is. We'll see. All right, and uh, oh, we've got a couple old coasters. Oh, that's all right. I didn't see those in the lot. Those are older ones. So yeah, that's cool. And the 60s tray. It's a reproduction of a much earlier image, but uh, it's a 60s tray, 68 I think it is. Uh, yeah, Lillian Nordica, 1903. Um, I can't see the date on this one, it's worn off. But anyway, it is a 60s Coke tray. And, and then there's a 50s one. This is called the picnic cart tray. It's, I think, 58 or something like that. Or early 60s. I think probably late 50s. Kind of a modern Coca-Cola puzzle. A few modern bottles, including an aluminum one. There. Nothing terribly special. These are... Whoa, almost ended up with a mess there. Um, these are fairly modern, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, their UPC code and everything on some of them here. Yep. So, yeah, more modern ones. And we got more Coke bottles galore of various kinds. Uh, some 1950s, 60s ones here. These are returned for deposit. These are US ones, I believe. They're fairly modern. Um, Christmas bottles or something, I guess. Basically, they're, they are modern ones. But I'll put them out for a buck a piece or something and let people buy them. There's a 1950s one. There. 50s or 40s, maybe. Should be a date on the bottom. Yeah, 50, 58. And yeah, mostly modern. Some older ones. There's some U.S. ones here. The U.S. ones have dates on, or uh, not dates, states on the bottom. This one's Battle Creek, Michigan. So a few older ones. Nothing terribly exciting. Be sure there was nothing that was real exciting in these. And on to the next one. All right, let's see what they got wrapped up here. Um, oh, we've got a golf club. I thought this was a wood shaft one by the photos, but it's not. It's actually a steel shafted golf club that's got a wood grain on it. Uh, it was kind of tough to tell by the photo. Oh, well, that's life. We'll have to check it and see if it's anything. This is a neat piece here. This is uh, the Drury's Limited, Verdon, 1931. So it was probably a curling trophy or a trophy of some kind, I suspect. Uh, but really neat being the Drury's. So that was kind of a cool piece. Uh, should sell fairly quick to a Drury's collector. And Drury's was a brewery in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. But I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's electric plate on base metal so but uh, yeah just kind of neat being Drury's then we've got a huge friggin frying pan so that's kind of kind of a cool camp frying pan big long thing and see my hand is small compared to it so let's see and we've got another box full to go through yet so in this box we seem to have a lot of paper stuff but uh, we'll see what some of this other stuff is first. I think these are just, yeah, these are no big deal. They're steak, um, steakhouse type grill plates. Those will go to the thrift shop probably, or actually probably I'll throw the aluminum in with the scrap and then send these off to the thrift store. They're probably Bakelite, but, well, maybe not. They might be just a thermoplastic of some kind. 
certainly look like Bakelite though. But anyway, nothing special. I don't think I'd, I'll check online, but I don't think they sell for, for much of anything. All right, uh, what do we have in this box here? Oh, okay. Uh, is this, oh, okay. Got another cream top spoon to go with the cream top milk bottles. It's to scoop the cream off the uh, top of the milk bottle. And this is a um, Bowman Dairy Company uh, milk pick, milk cap pick. So that's what you take the milk cap off or out of your uh, top of your bottle with. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a neat piece. Uh, I'm not sure where it's from, where Bowman Dairy is out of, but uh, I think it could be Manitoba. Let's see. And I've got a Nestle Quick Spoon. Don't think that's anything. Uh, Maple Leaf Flower Thimble. The big Royal Household Canada's Best Flower Scoop. have here We've got another milk cap pick uh, Borden's selected milk that's kind of cool Borden's butter and eggs and we've got a cast iron bottle opener can opener patent applied for Duke's can opener kind of neat right there and yeah a couple the keys and not too big a deal. All right, let's see what else we got. And paper wise, southwest corner, not sure what that's about. Turtle Mountain and area, okay. So, area history the musical Salvationist. So, I'll have to check on that one. That one might be okay. Uh, favorite March album. The RV Halls. Let's see what else. Uh, revival Gems. So, more religious stuff. Peace Garden Annual and some, looks like some maps from National Geographic, which will just go straight to the thrift store. Okay, what else we got? Uh, this is a Bakelite set. Here. I think, I think it's Bakelite, yeah. It looks at it, there we go. You can tell, you can see these have turned yellow already. They've been exposed to the sun, whereas the forks are still just kind of a cream color. So they haven't quite turned yet. But nonetheless, it's a Bakelite set. That's kind of cool. We got Royal Purple BPO Elks Music Book. Uh, Town of Boys of Ain, Manitoba. Some paper. So nothing special there. Surf Turtle Mountain Music and Dramatic Festival, Chautauqua All Canadian Institution, Surus Manitoba. It's kind of cool. Surus Turtle Mountain Music and Dramatic Festival held in Hartney, Manitoba. Provincial Festival, Dominion Theatre, uh, Port Avenue East, so that would be Winnipeg. Deloraine, Manitoba Music and Dramatic Festival, Surus Turtle Mountain again, Deloraine. And 1980, the Turtle Derby. They used to uh, race turtles in Boys of Ain. You can imagine that would be exciting. Eh? Turtle races. And what else? Uh, okay. It's just paper stuff. And we got some Pringles menswear. Boys of Ain. Yeah, just some. Well, we've got a nice. Pin up one there though. 
right there. And Delarane Esso sales agent. Nothing terribly special. Let's see what other paper stuff we've got. Uh, I know there's some lots with some magazine ads. I'm not going to bother showing you all of those. Um, like I said, they're just clipped from magazines. I don't find them terribly exciting myself. Um, so, anyway, won't bother with those. Coca Cola, the International Beanbag Collection. Well, that's kind of weird. So, what's that about? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, so it's advertising for Beanie Baby type um, Coke animals and such. So, I don't know how old that is. Not very old, I don't think. 1999. So, they might have some value. Who knows? Um, there's three of them, so... Oh, no, it's a set. Oh, they're all different. Oh, okay. So it's missing one by the looks of it. Five of five, three of five, four of five. So we're missing number one uh, and two. Oh, well. Okay, we've got some more. We've got some magazines, catalogs and such. Let's see what else. Farm economy supplements. So this is, what's this about? Farm economy supplement. So farming related tips. New idea club, that's new idea farm equipment. So it's an advertising one. That's okay. I think, I think that's new idea farm equipment. Or it's just, that's the title, who knows. Look at it closer later. Junior manual for the co-op. Okay, Simpsons farm equipment booklets. Right there. And concrete from the Portland Cement Company of Canada. And we have uh, the guide, workshop scrapbook country guide. So that'll be just uh, different stuff to make on the farm. Could be interesting. And let's see, farm mechanics, farming with power. So that's an older one from 1932. Farm all. It's farm mechanics. Hmm, interesting. Labor savers for farm homes from the country guide. What else we got? Okay, let's take another. Oh, some neat ration tokens. These are actually very common. You find like, fairly large quantities of them sometimes, or you find a couple, but they're very common. You know, like 50 cents a piece is about pretty much max for value. And uh, these are uh, tr uh, transit coupons. Ration books, World War II ration books. Looks of it. And let's see, we've got a UGG, oh no, Great West Life Insurance booklet. And then another little booklet that's just blank, so that's nothing. There's another farm handbook from 58 and Patterson and Son Farmers, Farmer's Almanac from the Chevy dealer from 1979. Another farm handbook from 58. That's just a cleaner version of the last one. Another compliments of your Chevy dealer. Probably put those in a lot and sell them all together. John Deere Plow Company farm account book. 
That's all right. Another John Deere farm account book. Another John Deere farm account book. And New Holland farm management accounting system book. All right. Get into here. Farming in Canada. Insure your crops against hail, Springfield Fire and Marine Insurance Company, Regina, Saskatchewan. Guide to farm practice in Saskatchewan. Dugouts, domestic dams and irrigation product, projects. Insects on ornamental trees and shrubs. Charts and instructions for calculating bushels of wheat. Oh boy, exciting. Uh, record of achievement of uh, Prairie Farm Rehabilitation, Re yeah. Re <laughs> Rehabilitation Act. Booklet. Okay, and then a farm a country guide for the modern country guide. Oh no, it's a Western producer from 98. Those will just go get discarded probably. And last but not least, we've got a register. I've been on several of them and only got one. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.